Peace everyone, Amira here. Um, today we are making Hanagua paste and mixing up Hanagua paste is just like mixing up regular Hana paste except you're switching out lemon juice, tea or coffee for Hagua juice. And Hagua juice comes from the Hagua fruit which grows in Central and South America. It's been used for hundreds of years for body art, food and medicinal purposes. So the juice that I'm pouring in right here is the Hagua juice. It gives you that beautiful black bluish stain um, and it occurs naturally. It all comes from the fruit. No synthetic dyes or chemicals added. So right here I'm just mixing up just as you would regular henna paste. I use a whisk because it smooths out the paste really nice. Um, there's going to be some things in this video that I don't discuss in detail but have other videos for in my DIY series for beginners. Um, I will put links to those in the description below and in the cards above on the right hand corner of this video. So right here we got the perfect consistency and we are going to then be putting this paste into the stocking that has the piping bag in there. Um, we're doing this to get out any leaf fragments or particles that may be present in the henna powder so that it doesn't clog up our henna cones when we go to apply a design with it. I go over how to exactly do this little setup here with the cup, the piping bag, and the nylon stocking in a different video which is titled DIY henna paste. I will be putting a link to that video in the description below and in the cards above here in this video in the right hand corner. So right now I'm just pulling the stocking through the piping bag to strain out the henna, henagua paste and you just want to pull that all the way through to make sure that the all the Hanagua paste is getting strained through this process. After you pull, pull the stocking all the way through and all the Hanagua paste has been strained, then you're going to start tying up the top of the bag with the rubber band and this helps to keep the Hanagua paste from oozing out the top of the bag while you're filling the cone with it. And again, there is a video on how to roll these henna cones in my DIY for beginners series uh, entitled DIY Henna Cone. Um, we don't go over it in this video, but be sure to check it out in the description bar below and in the cards on the right hand corner of this video. So basically, you're just filling it up. There's no real trick to this. You just fill it up till it looks pretty good. And then you just start pinching out the air. Um, you want to pinch it, pinch out all the air until the Hanagua reaches the tip of the cone. This may take a little while, or not a while, but a few, couple of minutes or less to do this. Uh, and this just makes sure that there's no you know, little air bubbles trapped in the cone because um, that's not very good when you're trying to apply it. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm folding over the sides of the henna cone um, and getting a piece of tape to secure that. This kind of helps to keep the henna paste from oozing out the top of the cone when you are applying your designs. So basically you just put a piece of tape there to secure that fold and then you're going to start folding from the top of this rolling it downward towards the cone the the paste itself in the cone 
um, you're just gonna roll that all the way down as I'm doing here and then after if you after you have rolled it all the way down you're going to get a slightly longer piece of tape than you used the first time and secure this fold that piece of tape and after you do this your henna cone or your Hanago cone, excuse me, will be ready to go. So I will be, fi I filmed a video for a design that I did with this Hanagua cone. Um, that video will be coming up soon. Be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video. Don't miss the next video and see you later. Peace.